Mr. Roberts, the boo is not out. Did you want that out the window? Yeah, can you get the window? I'm trying to be funny about that comment and stuff. Yeah, no, I, I know exactly what you mean. I don't really appreciate it. I know, it's hard. I've done it before.
Good evening, I'd like to welcome everyone to tonight's Bay Rivers District football action featuring the visiting Rams from Lafayette High School and your Cosin Bulls. It's also senior night here at Cosin. So before we get started with the game, we're going to honor and recognize our graduating seniors on the football team, cheerleaders, and then the band. Starting off with the football team, our first senior is number six, Brayden Hayes. Brayden is escorted by his parents, Shannon and Suzanne Hayes, his Nana Carolyn Whitten, and his brother Taylor Hayes. Brayden has been a member of the Islander football program for five years and plays running back and linebacker. Brayden is also the punter for the Islanders and also serves as a team captain. Brayden was selected to the 2A All-State second team last spring as a linebacker and he'd like to continue playing football at the collegiate level. After graduating from college, he'd like to have a career in the health industry, such as starting his own gym and training facility. Once again, number six, Braden Hayes. Next up, number seven, Joseph Chipezi. Joseph's escorted by his parents, Joe and Darcy Chipezi. He's been a member of the Islander football program for three years and plays running back and linebacker. Joseph is a four-year member of the Pocosin High School wrestling team and has also participated in cross country and outdoor track. After graduation, Joseph plans to attend West Virginia University where he's committed to wrestle for the Mountaineers. Once again, number seven, Joseph Spacey. Our next senior is number nine, Josh Markley. Josh is escorted by his parents, John and Monica Barkley. Josh has been a member of the football program for two years and plays running back and safety. As a three-sport athlete at Pocosin, he also plays varsity baseball, varsity basketball, and ran winter track last year. Josh was a member of the regional champion and state semifinalist football team his junior year. He was selected all-state in winter track in the 4 by 200 relay his junior year, a member of the regional champion and state runner baseball team his junior year. He was also named second team all peninsula in baseball by the Virginia Pilot and named all-state honorable mention in baseball by the Virginia DC Prep Baseball Report. Josh's other school accomplishments are that he's a member of the National Honor Society, Blue Island Theta, National Science Honor Society, and Key Club. After graduating from high school, Josh will be attending Dickinson College in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, where he will compete on the college baseball team while pursuing a degree in international business and management. Once again, number nine, Josh Markley. Next up, number 10, Bubba Barber. Bubba's escorted by his parents, Paul and Kathy Barber. Bubba's been a member of the Islander football program for four years and plays quarterback. He also plays tight end and on the defensive line. 
Bob has participated on the varsity team all four years and is currently a team captain. Bob is also a member of the Pocosin High School State Wrestling, State Champion Wrestling Team and placed third in the state this year in the 182 weight class. Bob is a member of the National Spanish Honor Society, the National Science Honor Society, the Math Honor Society, Key Club, and is an honor roll student. He also serves as a volunteer at the Pocosian Library. After graduating from Pocosian High School, Bubba plans to study business management in college. Once again, number 10, Bubba Barber. Next up, number 14, Clayton Long. Clayton is a by his parents, Marty and April Long. Clayton's been a member of the Islander football program for two years and plays wide receiver and defensive back. Clayton also participated on the JV basketball team his eighth grade year and played JV soccer his sophomore year. Clayton was a member of the regional championship of the regional champion Islanders in the spring and helped them make it to the state semifinals. Clayton plans to join the United States military after graduation. The branch is still yet to be determined. Once again, number 14, Clayton Long. Next up, number 23, Mason Cup. Mason's escorted by his parents, Shane and Devin Rogers. Mason's been a member of the Islander program for four years and plays running back and defensive back. Mason had an interception in the regional championship game against Amelia to help the Islanders win the regional championship in the spring. After graduating, Mason plans to begin an apprenticeship as a welder. Once again, number 23, Mason Cup. Next up, number 27, Jamie Moore. Jamie's escorted by his parents, Rick and Kristen Moore. Rick and Kristen Monahan. Jamie's been a member of the Iowa football program for five years, plays wide receiver and defensive back. Jamie was a member of the regional champion football team and will graduate in June with an advanced diploma and plans to pursue a career in engineering or nuclear welding. Once again, number 27, Jamie Moore. Next, number 30, Ethan Snedden. Ethan is escorted by his parents, Charles and Nicole Snedden. Ethan's been a member of the Islander program for five years and is the place kicker. Ethan was selected to the first team all-region kicker the past several seasons and was selected to the second team all-state team last spring. He was also selected to the first team all Tidewater team as the kicker. Ethan is also a member of the Pocosin wrestling team and soccer team. After graduation, Ethan is interested in pursuing a degree in business at Virginia Tech. Once again, number 30, Ethan Snedden. Next up, number 55, Nick Bowman. Nick is escorted by his mother, Tiffany Bowman. Nick's been a member of the Iowa football program for three years and plays on the offense and defensive line. He was a member of the 2020 regional championship team and after graduation, plans to become an apprentice electrician for the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers at Local 1340. Once again, number 55, Nick Bowman. Our next senior, number 57, we come out to number 11, Keenan Moran. Keenan is escorted by his mother, Aaron Bradshaw. Keenan has been a member of the Iowa football program for two years and plays on the offense and defensive lines. Keenan is also a team captain on this year's team. He was a member of the regional champion football team in the spring and also a member of the state runner-up baseball team. Keenan has earned a certificate in building and construction at New Horizons and a certificate for the Youth Builders Pre-Apprenticeship. He will graduate in June with an advanced diploma and plans to attend the apprentice school to play baseball. Once again, number 11, Keenan Moray. Next, number 67, Michael Angor. Michael is escorted by his parents, Matthew and April Angor. Michael's been a member of the Iowa football program for two seasons and plays on the offensive and defensive lines. After graduation, 
Michael plans to pursue a career with the fire department. Once again, number 67, Michael Lancour. Next up, number 71, Nathan Gotze. Nathan's escorted by his parents, Jamie and Stacy Gotze. Nathan's been a member of the Islander football program for five years and plays on the offense and defensive line. Nathan was a member of the Spring Regional Championship football team. He also placed in the National Spanish Exam, the District DECA competition, and this year is the DECA officer. After graduation, Nathan plans to attend an undetermined four-year university. Once again, number 70. And our last senior football player to recognize is number 72, Brendan Ferguson. Brendan is escorted by his parents, Bob and Teresa Ferguson. This is Brendan's first season as a member of the Islander football program, and he plays on the offense and defensive lines. After graduation, Brendan plans to go to college to become a physical education teacher. Once again, number 72, Brendan Ferguson. Okay, now, we move on to the cheerleaders. We have four cheerleaders to recognize tonight, and our first cheerleader is Ms. Mara Fell. Mara's escorted by her mother, Mitzi Fell Seward, her stepfather, Elmer Seward, her father, Matt Fell, and her stepmother, Beth Fell. Mara's a member of both the competition and side by cheer teams, and has been a member of the program for two years. Mara made second team all region for the 2021-2022 competition season. Mara is vice president of the National Honor Society, dance captain for Coast's Evolution Show Choir, captain of the lacrosse team, and member of the tri M Music Honor Society. She is also the historian of the Spanish club. Mara plans to attend a four-year college and major in kinesiology. Once again, Ms. Mara Fell. Next up, Kendall Fitzpatrick. Kendall's escorted by her mother, Michelle Fitzpatrick, and father, Jared Fitzpatrick. Kendall's a member of both the competition and sideline cheer teams, and has been a member of the cheer program for five years. She has learned how to be a leader over the years and how to form extremely important bonds with her teammates. Kendall made first team all region for the 2021-2022 competition season. She is a member of Key Club and the National Honor Society. Kendall plans to attend a four-year university to major in biology. Once again, Kendall Fitzpatrick. Up next, Madison Nornberg. Madison is escorted by her mother, Jennifer Nornberg, and father, Dale Nornberg. She's been a member of the sideline team for two years. She is secretary for the tri -M Music Honor Society, a three-year member of the Evolution Show Choir, and senior year, dance, senior year dance captain. She also played on the Pocosin High School JV field hockey team. Madison plans to attend college to study social work with a minor in education. Once again, Madison Nuremberg. And our last two leader is Miss Joy Torrenti. Joy is escorted by her mother, Jamie Torrenti, and her grandfather, Don Torrenti. She's a member of both the competition and sideline cheer teams and has been a member of the cheer program for five years. Joy has been able to show leadership throughout her years on the team. She made second team all region for the 2021-2022 competition season. After graduating, Joy plans to attend a four-year college to study education. Once again, Ms. Joy Drinke. Okay, now we'll move on to the band. First up, Zoe Howard. Zoe with her mother, Crystal Howard, and Father John Howard. She's been in the band for three years, 
was selected equipment manager of the color guard team. She's also on the honor roll, Lou Alfeda, Spanish National Honor Society, Science National Honor Society. And after graduating, plans to attend a four-year college and join the color guard there. Once again, Zoe Allard. Next up, we have Sienna Donovan. Sienna is escorted by her mother, Cinnamon Donovan, and father, Chad Donovan. She plays percussion instruments. This has been in the band for four years and is a section leader. Sienna is also in the National Honor Society and Odyssey of the Mind. After graduating, she plans to attend a four-year college to become a geneticist. Once again, Sienna Donovan. Next up, Brielle Ingebretson. Brielle is escorted by her mother, Michelle Chauvin, grandfather Scott Ingebretson. Brielle plays bass clarinet and tuba. She's been in the band three years, and she was first chair of the district for freshman year, pre-game drum major, and section leader for three years. She was a member of the academic challenge team her sophomore year, and after graduating, will attend either High Point or Christopher Newport University to get a degree in wildlife conservation or music education and continue to play music in the marching and concert bands in college. Once again, Brielle Ingebrigtsen. Next up is Emily Green. Emily's escorted by our parents, Sarah and Mike Green. She's a member of the Color Guard. This is her first year at the Coastal High School Band. She's on the AB Honor Roll, Advanced Fitness Award, and was voted Outstanding Student Award for Algebra One. Her plans after high school, short and sweet, go to college. Once again, Ms. Emily Green. <laughs> Next up, Ryan Griffin. Ryan is escorted by his parents, Carrie and Brent Griffin, plays alto saxophone, been in the band four years. His band award and accomplishments are he is a section leader and is also Sproul's favorite student. Other Coastal High School accomplishments, he's in the band and show choir. He was on the Principal's Advisory Council, Dungeons and Dragons Club, Chess Club, and a fellowship of Christian athletes. Outside of school, he attends Young Life and has been working hard towards his Eagle Scout. His biggest accomplishment is making it this far. After high school, he hopes to attend either JMU or Virginia Tech to major in business to make the big bucks with the ultimate goal of hiring everyone in his senior class, including Douglas Spruill. Once again, Ryan Griffin. Next up is Landon Hale. Landon is escorted by his parents, Tommy and Larry Hale. Plays percussion instruments. He's been in the band four years. And after high school, plans to pursue a career in writing. Once again, Landon Hale. Next up is Allison Hardy. Allison's escorted by her mother, Tara Hardy. Plays percussion and flute. Been in the band four years and is a percussion section leader. Allison is a member of the National Honor Society. Attended New Horizons for both EMT and medical assistant. National Technical Honor Society and stage crew member. After graduating, she plans to attend either Randolph-Macon or ODU to continue her studies in the medical field. Once again, Allison Hardy. Next up, color guard, Raina Hedrick. Raina is escorted by Stacy and Dave Hedrick. She's been in the band three years. She's a member of the National Honor Society and a show crew for show choir. And after high school, plans to complete her cosmetology courses at New Horizons 
and get her license to practice. Once again, Raina Hedrick. Next up, Cam Hocom. Cam is escorted by Mother Amy Rollins and Father Wayne Hocom. Plays the saxophone, been in the band four years, and is the drum major for the marching band and a member of the show, a jazz band. A member of the National Honor Society, captain of the swimming academic challenge teams, secretary general of Model UN, and 2021 Boy State Representative. After high school, plans to attend either the United States Naval Academy or the University of Virginia to pursue his goal of practicing military law. Once again, Cam Hoka. Next up, color guard member Anna Hubbard. Anna is escorted by Mother Jean Hubbard and Father Paul Hubbard. Been in the band four years and was voted color guard co-captain for 2021. And is a member of the National Honor Society, vice president of the Tri-Am Honor Society, vocal captain in the Evolution Show Choir, and selected to attend and compete in the Virginia 8 Chorus six times, Virginia All-State Chorus twice, and the Virginia Honors Choir once. After high school, Anna plans to pursue corporate management directly after graduation. Once again, Anna Hubbard. Next up, Color Guard member Rebecca Bassiani. Rebecca is escorted by her parents, Francis and Theodore and Bassiani. She's been in the band three years and is a Color Guard co-captain. She's also a member of the Tri-Am Honor Society. She's a historian, member of the Spanish Honor Society, member of the National Honor Society, and a vocal captain of the Evolution Show Choir. After graduation, she had plans to attend, to obtain a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in Music Theater. She hopes to be accepted at Shenandoah University. Once again, Rebecca Bassiani. Next up, Matthew Lee. He's escorted by Beverly Blackwell and William Blackwell. Plays trumpet, been in the band four years, and has been a section leader one year. After high school, he wants to attend a carpentry, obtain a carpentry apprenticeship. Once again, Matthew Lee. Next up, we have Cooper Martin. Cooper's escorted by his parents, Don and Anthony Martin. He plays alto saxophone, been in the band four years, and is a section leader in eighth grade, all district band in the 11th grade. Again, all district band. Also, obviously, the mind world finalist, one act cast member, and governor school student. After graduating, he hopes to attend Virginia Tech or JMU for MS in engineering or BS in biochemistry for DDS. Once again, Cooper Martin. Next up, Will Oates. Escorted by his parents, Holly and Andrew Oates. Plays the snare drum, has been in the band four years. A section leader in the 11th and 12th grade, and also won the broken snare head in 11th grade. He ran cross country and track for four years, and is a member of the National Honor Society. After high school, he plans to attend Virginia Tech, the apprentice school, or hungry for a gap year. Once again, Will Oates. Next up, we have Hunter Wright. He's escorted Jane for Janet Forrest and Donald Forrest. Please declare that he's been in the band four years and is a section leader. After high school, he plans to go to James Madison University to become a marine biologist. Once again, Hunter Wright. Our next senior is Cameron Robertson, escorted by Mother Wendy Goodwin and Father Corey Steed plays the saxophone and has been in the band four years and is a section leader. He's also a guitarist for the Pocosin High School Show Band, captain of the academic challenge team, and a model UN club member. After 
High School plans to attend Liberty University to get a degree in civil engineering. Once again, Cameron Robertson. Next up, we have Caitlin Schmidt. Escorted by our parents, Ashley and Daniel Schmidt. Remember, the color guard has been in the band four years. Currently is the equipment manager for the color guard. He's a member of the National Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, received several outstanding student awards for classes including creative writing, physics, geometry, and math analysis. After high school, plans to pursue an engineering degree and become a robotic engineer, preferably working for NASA. Once again, Caitlin Schmidt. Next up, Ryan Simmons. Ryan is escorted by his parents, both Lane Wade Simmons, baritone, and has been in the band four years. He was a section leader of 11th and 12th grade and district band in 10th grade. Ryan is a member of the Spanish Honor Society and is a basis for the show band and after high school plans to attend Liberty University. Once again, Ryan Simmons. Next up, Isabel Spielberger. Isabel is just escorted by her mother, Jill Spielberger. She plays the flute and piccolo, been in the band four years. Was a member of district band concert piccolo, 10th grade. District Band Symphonic Band Piccolo 11th grade, and most outstanding student freshman through junior year. She's also the class president since the 10th grade, Key Club Vice President 11th and 12th grade, member of the French Honor Society in New Alpha Theta since 9th grade, National Honor Society in Astoria since 11th grade, member of the VDOA History and Social Sciences Review Board, delegate to Virginia Auxiliary Girl State, and received the William & Mary Leadership Award in 11th grade. After high school, she hopes to attend New York University and major in international relations. Once again, Isabel Spielberger. Next up, Jessica Timmons. Jessica's escorted by her mother, Julie Timmons, follows Chris Timmons, plays the flute, been in the band four years. She's a flute section leader, her sophomore junior year, jump major her senior year, and was voted most improved freshman. She's also an outstanding student of the year for chemistry her sophomore year, outstanding student of the year for calculus her junior year, outstanding student of the year award for AP Environmental Science her junior year, and member of the National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, and Science Honor Society. After high school, plans on attending a four-year university. Once again, Jessica Timmons. And last, but certainly not least, Miss Colby Topping. Colby is escorted by her parents, Kimberly and Ben Topping. Colby plays clarinet and is a feature twirler. She's been in the band four years, in symphonic class all four years of high school, and is a section leader for feature twirlers. She's also a show crew captain, and after high school, will attend a college or university with a major in elementary education. Once again, Ms. Colby Topping. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are our 35 or so graduated seniors for this year. We'll have a big hand for the, all the seniors.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and pay attention as we pay tribute to our nation with the presentation of colors and the playing of our national anthem by the Pocosian High School Islander Marching Band. The band is under the direction of Brielle Ingebrigtsen. for tonight's contest, number eight, Luke Hanson for Lafayette, 53, Mike Julian, 56, Andy Anderson, and 65, Brandon Jefferson. For Pocosin, number six, Braden Hayes, number 10, Bubba Barber, and number 11, Keenan Moray. set to kick off for Pocosin, back deep for Lafayette, number one, Andrew Warner, number two, Taylor Tretlow.
free throws to the end zone, Lafayette will come out first and ten from their own 20. Goes to 
Illegal shift on the offense is the call. Five yard penalty, still first down. Kickers are trying to run Foskett up to the 35 yard line. That's where it goes and will start first and 10. 5-16 left in the first quarter. Five yards, bring up second and five.
Also play back to the 29 yard line. That'll bring up third down.
on the return up to the 26-yard line. That's where the person will start first and 10. With a minute 37 left in the first quarter. Second down. Second and nine. Again, two yards up to the 28, bring up second and eight. Again, if you are in the play, 
number seven, Joe Jepezi on the tackle. And a big up third and four with the ball spot at the 47.
Come out, Lafayette.
30, and that is good for percussion balls. First down! First and 10. Percussion from the round 30. Six, Braden Hayes across the 35 up to the 37 for a pickup of seven yards. Bring up second and three. Kick it down at 35 yard line as we're off the upper start first and 10.
Kick goes into the end zone for a touchback. Bring it back out to the 20. Yes, for Pocosian will start first and 10. 320 left in the half. Second and 11 from the 19. There's the flag down on the return.
personal foul against the return team. So we lost the ball first and ten from the room forty one. Pass is incomplete. Bring up second down.
Warner around the right side out of bounds. At about the six yard line, where it's first and goal. to the end zone to come out as a touchback. And Coach will start first and 10 from the round 20.
Barber on the keeper. We have this in the first half. Tonight's halftime show presented by the Pocosin High School Islander Marching Band. Tonight, the band will be presenting our fall competition show, Unstoppable. Three stories of heroic perseverance featuring the music of three iconic motion pictures, Gladiator, Empire of the Sun, and Far and Away. Color Guard captains are Anna Hubbard and Rebecca Ambassiani. Feature twirlers are Colby Topping, Skylar Parks and Emily Evans. Drumline captains Madison Martin, Will Oates, and Abby Horton. Front ensemble, Sienna Donovan and Allison Hardy. Woodland section leaders Brooke Martin, Alyssa White, Jason Norville, Hunter Reich, Ryan Griffin, Cooper Martin, Evie Weiner, and Robert Hicks III. Brass section leaders are Matthew Lee, Patrick Nelson, Lou Martin, Jack Sebring, Ryan Simmons, and Brielle Eagle-Bretson. The band is under the field direction of drum majors Jessica Timmons, Cam Holcomb, and Isabel Spielberger. The Precocial High School Islander Marching Band is a nine-time Virginia Honor Band. Let's have a warm welcome for the 2021 Pocosin High School Islander Marching Band.
Basket on the return to the 22 yard line. That's what Picosa will start first to 10 to start the second half.
Gain of three yards, down to the 36, bring up second and seven. Six, Braden Hayes. Bring up second and nine from the 20. down to the eight yard line where it's first to go.
Kings are trying up to the 21 yard line. That's where Bacosha will start first and 10. Hayes on the carry. Picks up a couple yards, bring up second down. Second down and seven. Six, Braden Hayes, bring up second and 11. Alright, 
first to ten from the eleventh for Lafayette. Lawrence on the carry down to the three yard line. We're at second down. Good. Winning ticket number for the 50-50 raffle, 249-3703. Once again, the winning ticket number for the 50-50 raffle, 249-3703.
Pass is complete. Number five, Ron Foster. He takes it in for the touchdown. Turned up across the 20 up to the 22 yard line, tackled by number 10, Bobo Barber. First to 10, Lafayette.
That's incomplete for second down. second half. Thirty-four 